Hi, thank you for coming to our annual meeting for 2023 in our open house. Um, I'm Jen, I'm one of the co-directors. And I'm Zach, and I'm a co-director. And so we're, our annual meeting's pretty informal, so we do have a sheet. There's some over there that talks about the numbers of content pieces that we've done. So we did break it up between the towns. I don't know if I'll kind of pass it around. Um, so to see how many content pieces we covered in our service area. Um, so for East Montpelier, we did 55 content pieces for a total of 91 hours. And those are first run programs and those continue to play. Um, this is for 2023. 2023. So they were events that we went out and recorded. So municipal meetings, school boards, um, various events that may be happening. And so we did a total for the for the year of 1,057 pieces of content for, for um, about 1,500 hours of content. Well, local so, content. So then um, we had 59 community members and organizations that used our resources to create 141 pieces of content for 98 hours. And so these are our shows that they've made place and we, um, so we're hoping, as with the new year coming up, that we'll get more people to come in and become community producers. We're looking to um, go out into the organizations or into the community and cover more events. And we're hoping that if you see anything that you think would be valuable for us to cover, we'd be happy to come out, send us an email, go to our website. We have an event coverage request form. And we're happy to come out and record. So. Um, I saw. And so 2023 was an eventful year. We had the flood in Montpelier. So we, you may have seen us when they were doing the um, Montpelier Commission for Resilience. They had many community forums. We were there to help record it so those people who weren't able to attend in person could see some of the conversations that were happening so that they also at later public forums could come out and be a part of. So I think... Um, so that's my spiel. I, if there's more sheets, if you wanted to take a look, there's a bunch of numbers. Rather than reading them off, I'd yeah. hopefully you can just kind of peruse. And I'm hoping, hi, Michael, did you? You're just eating now. So yeah. I, 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 I want to comment. Sure. I think what all these numbers mean is all the impact that we have on the community and the outreach, the work that we do with, with the community and connecting with the community, basically, right? Which yes. So, at this point, I would say if there's any of the board members that are present that would like to say anything, or if any of the community members would like to say anything about using Orca, being part of Orca's family. And? <laughs> she steps back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should I stand? Or? Yeah, do I stand? Can I stand here? Hi, everybody. I'm Ann Charles, one of the co-hosts of All Things LGBTQ, and I have a lot to hear. <laughs> microphone to Keith. Um, I just want to start by giving a little narrative. Six and a half years ago, Linda came to Orca offices and spoke with Jackie, who was working there at the time, and she said, I have a show I'd like to propose. Jackie said, what is it? And Linda said, it's a new show about LGBTQ concerns, and she explained a little of the structure. And Jackie didn't say, justify this program. What are your credentials? She said, when do you want to start? And I think that emblematizes the atmosphere of ORCA, that it's welcoming and open and um, great to work with. And apropos of that, we're not professional journalists, you may think, we, despite appearances, maybe. Um, and I have to commend Zach and every member of his team, some of whom are here. Coleman and Sean, et cetera, for the tireless work they do, as Keith says, making us seem better than we are. Um, sometimes I go over on interviews and Zach works with me patiently and tirelessly, take after take, put this word out, put this, you know, take this, put this word back in. And it's really a pleasure and uh, I'd like to pay homage to their skills. I know Jen does a lot of work behind the scenes working on uh, bookkeeping and human relations and um, it's sort of um, in the background but it's really important. Similarly the board 
and all the volunteers and a lot of people who are here are really doing a fabulous job. I mean, when you think about civic engagement, um, if I had spoken last year, I would have mentioned the candidate forums that the Bridge and Orca organized together. And we were privileged to be part of one. And people came up to me afterwards, and I wrote Cassandra Hemingway at the bridge about this, but never said to anybody at Orca, I don't think. Um, I learned so much from those forums. Um, I know where candidates stand. It really helped me inform my vote. Um, and I know it's a tireless task of the crew to um, tape all of those civic meetings, but sometimes, you know, when I'm talking to civic-minded minded friends, they say, oh, I can't make the meeting, and then meeting, and then they say, oh, but there's Orca. So it really contributes to our community, and I just want to say a couple more things uh, to be autobiographical. I'm a retired English teacher, and so I love the arts, and um, like some of us, I've gotten really um, tired of the mainstream news, so I turn to Orca. And sometimes I find the symphony, sometimes I find a book launch, sometimes I find, I mean, one incredible contribution to the arts is their recording of the National Poet, of the Poetry Month here in Vermont. It's terrific, you can, you know, turn on the TV and see a poem. And it changes, it changes my outlook. Um, so, I guess I want to say that I can speak for many of us here and for all things LGBTQ and for many people in the community. Um, thank you, Orca. We salute you. Me. <laughs> I'll make this quick because, uh, like Pat said, I like to talk. <laughs> but my name is Lawrence Seiler. My wife, um, my wife and I produce. Uh, by the way, she sends her best. Uh, my wife and I produce a show here at Orca. Actually, several shows here at Orca. Uh, one is Able Den on Air, and uh, we recently resurrected uh, Able to Cook, which is a cooking history program for people with special needs, as well as we are now uh, in production with Gridiron Sports Talk, which is also a uh, program for people with special needs, but uh, more wheelchair sports oriented and other special needs sports. And uh, thank you to Zach and Jen and Orca for opening opening up production for people with disabilities because, um, well, I've been a journalist for 30 years uh, in New York as well, but um, uh, sometimes people with special needs uh, don't get the forums that um, they need to get. And it's important to have these programs uh, because um, I've been a news reporter for many years also. News only gives you that much of talk. And then um, after I became a news reporter, then I started doing uh, shows. But thanks to Orca for everything, and we'll keep going. Uh, I'm uh, Sue Bettman. I uh, was a camera operator here for six years, and I was on the board. And um, yeah, um, is this actually on? Oh, it's the camera. Um, I uh, one of the things that I did as a camera operator was to uh, tape uh, Lawrence's show, Ableton on Air. And I have to say, it was one of the most valuable shows that um, I've seen Orca produce. There's so much information that was relevant, not just to people with various kinds of abilities, but about um, services that are available in the community. And um, it was a real eye-opener, and um, um, thank you for doing it. Thank you for producing it. <laughs> All right. Anyone else? Oh, sorry. Yep. 
thank you community producers because yeah. original content is just like, you know, we know to cover the select boards, we know to get to the school boards, but you guys are creating something original and I know how much work it is, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys, thank you. That's huge, yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Jeff Ford. Um, okay. Do I think so that was that was, that was your speech. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do I say well, then I will. I was waiting for Michael to speak. <laughs> I do. I know how to speak. I got this, Michael. Thank you. I'm Pat McDonald. Um, how many years? Well, not what ten. Um, you started I think maybe. Anyway, we do a show called Vote for Vermont, and Jackie came to me, I was running for election and I was doing one of those 10 minute blah, blah, blah things and she came to me and said, how would you want to do your own, your own show? She noticed I like to talk. So um, I started and uh, I've been loving it. I do a lot of editing, much to Zachary's um, chagrin, but um, um, I enjoy it, I love it. I recently, everybody knows that Chris left, and uh, I recently, I'm not going to say what the outcome was, but um, Jin and Zach asked me to help them with my human resources background to look at stuff here. And I, I was waiting to see what you were going to say about this, so if I step on anything, just tell me to shush, Michael. Um, but anyway, we looked at job descriptions, we looked at structure, we looked at things like signing authority, uh, all kinds of uh, things here at ORCA. Um, while we were sad that Chris left, it was a good time to step back and reassess. So I just sent a huge package to the board members, and I was just saying that anybody has any questions, give me a holler, and we can talk about it before we present to the board. But it's been a pleasure and an honor to work with these two. You have no idea the work they do during the day. You look at Zachary's screen and Jin's screen, you're like, whoa, headache. But it, it seems to get done, so... Um, Thank you all. It's just fun being here. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So there's some desserts over here. If there's a sign up sheet, if you haven't signed in, we'd love you to do that. There's a raffle. Um, if you haven't put it in, there's also a flashlight keychain that we would love you to take around and use. And um, and then I think maybe in like. 15 minutes, we'll do the raffle, but if you're not here, we'll reach out and let you know if you want. And it's a, a reusable grocery bag with the Orca symbol. I think we may have seen it last year, as well as a T-shirt, a community producer T-shirt. And so like if you aren't already wearing. a community producer and you win it, we're expecting you to come back in to become a... <laughs> <laughs> so, but thank you so much for coming in and being a part of Orca, and um, I guess... If as always, if you have any questions, definitely let us know. We're here to help. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.